All right, today we are going to do a little short video on uh, rocker arm geometry and push rod preload and push rod length on an adjustable valve train. We we did a video on a LS, which is a fixed valve train, and a bunch of people wanted to see a video on a stud mounted rocker system. So that's what we're going to do today. Hang loose. All right, so we have, um, we're doing a little series on the 604 crate motor. We have the cylinder head bolted down. We have uh, test springs on one cylinder. Uh, it's got the standard hydraulic lifter, but with the test springs, it, it doesn't overcome the lifter. This engine has to run this factory style push rod and we can't change the length and I can tell you now the length is wrong but we can't change it in this application but in a normal application we would we would correct this issue so we are going to take a sharpie whatever you got uh, normally I use black but I'm gonna try red and see if it shows up any better So we'll get them marked up. And then these are a little harder to see sideways because they're self aligning. A <clears throat> normal rocker arm, I mean, you can just visually line a sight, see how it's sitting on the tip, but these are a little more aggravating. So the cam is on the base circle and we're just gonna run it down till zero lash, no no preload, no none of that. And then we'll turn it over three or four times. Just hope just enough to get a pattern on the tip of the valve. see it but it ain't real good let's look at the exhaust side yep so it's really good on the exhaust side and the intake sides about the same way so <clears throat> we can see that it is on the outer third of the valve tip it's relatively narrow so if we let's see let's let's do this all right so the, the the whole goal is what we're after what we're after is we want the narrowest pattern possible if the if the pattern is narrow the um the rocker is moving across the valve tip the least amount. And that's what we want. We want the rocker to move across the valve tip the least amount possible. So there's, there's all kind of crazy methods people have, have engineered. Uh, Miller, M Miller, uh, ha has come up with a system back in the day of at half lift the trunnion and the tip and the valve be 90 degrees at half lift. That works really good if your rocker is designed for that geometry. Uh, some rockers work out great with the half lift method some rockers do not work out great with the half lift method so uh what we see from time to time is you know in this application x brand rocker works good and this other because here's the deal as you've got a stud 
that's in a fixed position, right? So the stud never moves, but what does happen, especially in like performance heads, you know, we do it all the time. Matter of fact, we did some big blocks this week that the valve was plus 250 long. So if the geometry is happy with a, <clears throat> with a standard length valve, well, if that valve gets 100 or 250 thousandths longer, well, now you just, your fulcrum to the tip is now too short if it was right with a standard length valve. So, you know, or too, or too yeah, it's, it's going to be too short because the valve is getting closer and closer and closer to the rocker arm because, right, it's on an angle. So it, it, the taller it gets, the closer it gets. So the rocker needs to get shorter from the fulcrum to the tip to make that system work out. And so you run into all of those oddball problems in, in uh, you run into all those oddball problems with different valve lengths. So it, it, it's almost impossible to have a, a rocker that the geometry is correct with a standard length valve and a 200 long valve. It's just almost impossible. And it might be impossible, and it might not, it just depends, but it might be impossible to have a rocker that is correct with 300 lobe lift and 500 lobe lift. That You know, that might be impossible. So, you know, you just have to work with what you got and you have to make it the best that it can be. So we don't want it running off the tip. We don't want it running off the backside, you know, does it need to be centered? Absolutely not. Um, back in the day, I didn't know any better. You know, we we were always told, you know, you wanted it centered. So we didn't worry about really uh, how wide the sweep pattern was. We were worried about putting it in the center. And that's absolutely useless. You know, who cares about the center? We need it to be the the shortest pattern because as it's going through its arc, you know, it's trying to push the stem away or pull the stem back, and, and that's what creates guide wear issues. So wherever it pushes on the tip, you know, if it's off-center this way or to the intake side, I mean, that's irrelevant. It's still, it's just pushing. It, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is how far it's traveling across that valve. So, um... But yeah, so come in here and, and, and I'm going, this is an extreme example, right? Get, get straight in on that rocker. So as it, if you watch, watch this tip as we make the push rod longer. So you see it, that, that tip is going away. So that's what's happening when you go, and if you, in, in the same thing, let me take, let me take it out. And then, so if we, and you see it, I mean, it's, it's pulling back as we make it shorter, right? So, so that's what's happening with, with push rod length in a stud mounted system. And so that goes back, <clears throat> that goes back to, you know, and, and I know we're talking about stud mounted, but this goes back to the to the LS world. Most people are just so confused. They're constantly talking about geometry. And, and, and again, when we're talking, you know, rocker geometry, this pattern, this pattern right here, I mean, you, you, you can see that good in the camera. This pattern right there on that tip is what we're talking about geometry. And you can see this pattern is on the outer side of the valve, which is perfectly fine. But, and it could be narrower for sure. We could probably get it a little narrower, but it's pretty good right there. I mean, that's, I don't know, that's 60 to 80 probably. And I'd say probably 60 is about as narrow as you're gonna get just from what I've seen. So be aware that, you know, different 
different rockers is going to do different things. Um, but the biggest deal is just try to find that minimum sweep. And, you know, if you, it, the, the, like I say, the, the half lift method works pretty good a lot of times, but it don't work with certain rockers. I've just, it just don't work, you know? So, uh, so I think that'll, or hopefully that, that'll make sense w w with this whole deal. But, and, and we keep a, a pretty good amount of rocker. I mean, uh, push rods links. I mean, I think we got from like seven and 100 all the way to like that almost nine inches, I think on the shelf. So, you know, if you need something, let us know. And if you, you know, if we ain't got it, normally we can get it. But sometimes, um, again, you know, I've swapped rockers from this brand to this brand and it just made up how it set, how it looked. It just made a big, a big difference. It'd be the same ratio, same ratio, same stud diameter, but just because, you know, you've got a, a, a push rod pocket to the trunnion and then from the trunnion to the tip and how all of that is, you know, everybody's geometry is just not the same. I mean, it just, it just isn't. So, you know, just be aware of that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments and uh, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you so much. See you on the next one.